everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this botastic hat. This is super fabulous. The bow is interchangeable. And I get to show you how to make this bow and then you can make as many as you want in different colors and interchange them. So that's really cool. And uh, I have, we'll get into the supplies we're going to need and then we'll get into making this piece. And also I'll answer some questions about sizing because this hat in this tutorial will fit up to a one year old child so like a 12 month old okay it's really stretchy um, so it might even fit a little older than that but uh, yeah it's a really nice hat um, and my uh, at this time of filming this tutorial uh, my six month old niece is wearing it in some pictures and she is looking super fabulous in them <laughs> and um, it fits her really nicely so I would say it's about six to twelve month old on the sizing for this hat that we're going to do in the tutorial but I give tips and tricks throughout this tutorial on how to make this bigger so big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. We are using for our main hat, the brim, the top part of the hat, and the ear flaps, we are using this Huga Charm. I have not used it yet and it is so incredibly soft and it has flecks of sparkle in it which is so fabulous. So these balls of yarn are pretty large. Um, I made two full hats out of one ball of yarn. So that is super fabulous. They come in 432 yard balls of yarn and you don't even need that much. But um, it's a 97% acrylic yarn. So you can use any acrylic type of yarn for this project, any medium size four yarn which is a worsted weight. That is very similar to a double knitting yarn. I mean, it's a little bit on the thinner side of a um, of a worsted weight, so I would say double knitting would be the closest um, type of yarn. That if you can't get this um, Huga Charm yarn, you can get a different equivalent. So the color we're using is called Shooting Star in our main color. And then for the bow, we are using With Love Metallic yarn. And in this tutorial, I'll show you using this greenish color, which is called Teal. Uh, again, another size 4 medium worsted weight yarn that is a premium acrylic fiber. So you can use different colors, whatever, but this also has the sparkle in it. I just love it so much. It's so shiny and sparkly and super girly. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> so um, that is for um, the bows, but um, that's the With Love Metallic. And I used a hot pink color, but um, I just had this ball and it was not labeled. So I don't know exactly the color. So if you know the color, leave me a comment on the color. But I don't have the label for this, but it's the same exact yarn um, with the With Love Metallic. So uh, we are using that in this tutorial. And you're going to need a fur palm to make it this uh, type. So this is from Amazon dot com online. Uh, you can just click the link in the materials you will need section and it will take you to where you can shop for these online. And then you're going to need a crochet hook. Uh, I would recommend the size G hook. This is the size G crochet hook that I will be using in this tutorial. This specific crochet hook is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. I will put a link in the description of this video where you can get this crochet hook or ones like it. They are hand carved and ergonomic and they just feel so wonderful in the palm of my hand and I just love working with them and they're just really easy to work with and they're really lightweight. A lot of people ask and see that they look really heavy or something but they're really lightweight and they make it so much easier to crochet with and I love these crochet hooks. I promote them every as much as I can because they're so fabulous. <laughs> You're also going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew in some ends and sew things together. So those are all the supplies we're going to need but before we begin I want to show you this bow is already in here, but once you uh, want to change out the hat and make it a whole new hat, <laughs> just pull that bow out and put a new one in. And that is how easy it is to change this hat out to make it, you know, match the bows to your outfits or something. It's such a cool idea. Look at that. Boom. And there you have a whole new hat. 
obviously you have to do a little bit of shaping, but once you have it going and shaped into a bow, it looks so fabulous. Awesome. So there's a whole new hat. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that and how it works. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. All the links are in the description of this video as well as the free crochet pattern that's on yarnutopia.com for this hat. So make sure you check that out and follow the Facebook, join the discussion and uh, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Big thank you to everybody who is supporting us. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this fabulous yarn for this project today. And big thank you to my dad who's behind me filming this whole tutorial, getting right into the closeness of the stitches so you guys can see and follow along with clear content. And thank you to you for watching. Let's get started and make this botastic hat. All right, let's start off with a slip knot. We're going to start with our main color here. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down, and then pull your long end through and pull tight. There is your slip knot. You can insert your hook and we can start. So we're going to start off by making the brim first, and we are going to chain 21. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, Three. I'm not going to make you watch me chain 21. So just chain 21 and I will come back and I'll show you row one. All right, just chain 21 here. So this is what your work should look like. Now we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the way across. So the loop on the hook does not count as anything. So count one and two, this chain right here. And what I personally like to do is just turn the chain toward me like this. So I'm looking at the back ridges right here and I'm going to work into those. So I'm going to go into the second chain here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And the next chain, just single crochet across here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops just like that. Those are single crochets. So we're just going to single crochet into each of these chains on the back ridge, or you can go through any loop really on the chain, but I personally like to go on the back ridge because the bottom then looks like a clean edge here, just like that. Okay, so that's why I like to work in that back ridge of the chain. Uh, but like I said, you can work in any loop that you want and just single crochet across. At the end of row one, you should have 20 single crochets. So I'll do that and then we'll go on to row two. Alright, just finishing up row one here. So you should have 20 single crochets across if you're counting across. So going on to the next row, uh, row two is a repeat. So what we're going to do for our repeat is we are going to chain one and turn the work around. Okay. And we are going to work in the back loops only. So what we usually do, I'm going to pull this forward here so you can see my stitches. We usually go through both loops like this, both loops. Here's both loops. Okay, both loops like this. But if you look at your work, the loop that's furthest away from you is considered the back loop. So here's a back loop. Okay, next stitch, this is the back loop right here. We're going to go into this section here. So this is the back loop. Okay, the loop that's in the front, this is called the front loop. Okay, so there's a front loop and a back loop to your stitches. And we're going to be working in the back loops only for this whole brim so that it creates a, uh, like a ribbing effect. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go back in my chain one here. So chain one and turn your work around. So now we're going this way and we are going to single crochet across in the back loops only. So go into this very first stitch right here in the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, then go into the next stitch right here and, oops, yarn over and pull that through and then yarn over and pull through two. 
okay so we're just going to single crochet across very simple but just make sure to work into the back loop only and as you can see here this line right here is created and it will give a ribbing effect okay so we're just going to single crochet across working in the back loop only and then I'll come back and show you the next row all right just finished row two here so this is what your work should look like if I can get it out there we go so you can see that the ribbing effect here is shown just like that looks really good so now we're just going to repeat row two um, until uh, we finish row 25 so just chain one and turn your work around and just work in the back loops only for and you should have 20 stitches on each row okay so make sure you have your 20 stitches on each row and just work in the back loops only single crochet across chain one turn your work around and then I'm going to do that until I hit row 25 and then I'll show you once I'm finished with row 25 I'll show you row 26 because that's where we're gonna create uh, one of the holes for the bow all right just finished row 25 so this is what it looks like now so you can see the ribbing effect looks super fabulous so what we're going to do now is create a hole so you might think oh why is this so long well we're actually going to be folding this in half this way okay so it's actually not that big of a brim but we're gonna have a fold up brim on the hat and if you see that in the pictures um, that's what it is so now at this point we are going to create a hole for the bow just one hole first um, so row 26 says to single crochet into four stitches so let's chain one and turn our work around and continue working in those back loops okay so we're gonna work in the back loop of this first stitch and we are going to single crochet there's one okay single crochet in the next stitch and this is our third stitch and our fourth okay so single crochet in the first four stitches then it says to chain three so yarn over pull through one two and three and those chains can be a little bit looser or uh, just main uh, same tension as your um, on your hook kind of thing don't go too tight with those chains there is what I'm trying to say and then uh, skip these next three stitches here so skip one two and three and then go into the back loop of this next stitch right here and single crochet and then just single crochet into the rest of the stitches on the row uh, but make sure you're working in the back loop only and that creates the hole on this side for the bow to be inserted so I'm just going to single crochet the rest of these stitches and I'm actually pretty close to the end here so you can just continue watching we'll go on to row 27 in just a moment and it actually says for row 27 the next row we are going to single crochet all the way across so chain one turn your work around continue working in those back loops only and just single crochet across now make sure to single crochet into each of the chains so each of the three chains of the chain three space and actually you can just continue watching because I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about I'm going a little bit faster only because single crochets are very easy very quick and once you have practice you can be quick too um, but uh, you can always pause this if I'm going a little too fast or rewind um, so you can see here I'm at the chain three space right now and you can see these loops there's this back loop right here I'm gonna work into this back loop of this chain okay whoopsie I lost my loop there this back loop of this chain right here okay and this back loop right here of this chain and that's working into the chain and that creates that line still so that ribbing does not get um, affected at all so it looks really nice so now just uh, single crochet in the rest of these four stitches across here and then we can go on to row 28 so row 28 chain one turn your work around and rows 28 29 30 and 31 so the next four rows we are just going to single crochet across working in the back loops only just like this 
okay so we're just going to single crochet all the way across for the next four rows once I'm finished with row 31 we are going to come back on screen I'll show you row 32 because we have to make the other hole for the other side of the bow so I'm just gonna do this for four rows just single crochet across working in the back loop only and uh, then I'll come back and I'll show you row 32 Alright, I just finished row 31 here, so you can see the hole here, this is what your piece should look like so far. So we have to make another hole so that the bow can go through one hole and out the other. So let's chain one and turn our work around, and we're basically just going to be repeating row 26. So just single crochet in the back loop only of the first four stitches, one, two, three, and four and then chain three one two three again kind of loosely and then skip the three stitches one two three and then single crochet into the rest of the stitches and that is row 32 very simple just like row 26 <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you the next row all right, for row 33, we're just going to chain one and turn our work around, and we're just going to repeat row 27, where we single crocheted across and worked into those chains, and then single crocheted in those last four stitches. So I'm just going to single crochet across into each one of these three chains, and then in the last four stitches, always working in the back loop only to keep with the ribbing effect. So I'm going to do that, just repeat row 27 for row 33 and then I'll come back and show you row 34 all right so I just finished row 33 here for rows 34 to 54 we are going to repeat what we did on this side so um, we are just single crocheting across then chain one turn your work around and single crochet across um, for rows 34 to 54 once I finish row 54 I am going to come back on, show you what to do next, but um, if you want this hat to be, uh, the brim to be uh, wider, like if your circumference of your head is a little bit bigger, then you can, um, you can continue on however long you need this to be. It shouldn't be that much bigger though, because this will actually equal, it will stretch up to 18 inches once I finish row 54. So. Um, that's like a toddler size head, a uh, baby size head, toddler size head, and that's um, this uh, what I'm making this hat for. Um, but if you want it bigger for like a child size or a teen or adult, you can continue on making these rows and make this a little bit um, bigger. And once you stretch this all the way out and measure it, it should measure the circumference of your head. So I hope that makes sense if you want to make this bigger. Um, but I'm just going to do this until I finish row 54 and then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. All right, I just finished row 54. I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn. Uh, cut it quite long because I'm going to cut it for, I'm going to use this for sewing and I'm going to pull it through this chain one here. So maybe cut that a little too long, but whatever. <laughs> so cut your yarn long because we'll use it for sewing. So I just uh, fastened this off and this is what your piece should look like. And when you stretch it out, it should, um, fit around the head that you are going to put it around. Now this is not the whole brim, we're going to fold this up like this when it's um, finished around the hat. So it's going to be more like this. Okay, so we have to make the hat part to close up the top. So what we're going to do now is first sew this brim closed. So what we want to do is you can choose which side you want your front to be, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just lay this flat and then fold this over like this. I have to grab my yarn needles here. Oops. Yarn needle, there we go. And we have to sew this closed. So I'm just going to yarn my needle just like this. Okay, and we are going to, I'm just going to whip stitch this. Okay, so I'm just going to go in these loops and this loop and just go around and around. 
So through this stitch and line up your stitches so everything is lined up and good. So this stitch and this stitch and I'm just sewing this closed just like that. Okay, so I'm not going to make you watch me <laughs> close this whole thing. So I'm just going to sew this up in this seam here and then once I'm finished I will come back and I'll show you what to do after that. Alright, so I just sewed down the seam. You can't even really see it very much, but it's right here, all the way down to here. So now we're going to fasten this part off. We have to uh, kind of tie a knot here. So you can tie a knot to your, um, your beginning strand here, and that's fine, and then sew them both in. But I'm going to wrap my yarn um, that's on my uh, needle here. I'm going to wrap it around a couple of the stitches like this. And I'm going to keep my finger in the loop. Okay, get this out of the way. Let's keep this finger in the loop and then come back through there, just like that, and go through. And then remove my finger and pull tight. And that creates a knot. And you can also, like I had said, tie a knot around this um, strand too, like that. And then you can just sew them in. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut this shorter. Okay. Take your yarn needle. Yarn your needle. Just like that. And then go underneath some of the stitches here. And pull. And that's how I sew in my ends. Okay, and then you can just uh, stretch it out, make sure everything looks good, cut any extra, and then what we're going to do is, let's see here, you can put this inside out or right side in, depending, it doesn't really matter how you have this, because both sides are the same, just make sure that you, these two holes are on the front and toward the bottom, so if you're looking at it like this, Make sure it's toward the bottom half of your brim, okay? When you're looking at it like this. Because when you fold it up, you want it to fold up and be on the outside. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so we're going to have it on the bottom half here. And we are going to start crocheting up on this part here. And we're going to turn this around to the back where our seam is. Okay, again, you can't really even see it. But wherever your seam is... We're going to attach our yarn basically wherever our hook fits. So just hook it into the side anywhere. Right here it looks good. Grab your yarn. Oops, I have to frog something real quick. <laughs> here, there we go. Okay, hook your yarn on and pull it through anywhere on the side. Does not matter. Preferably in the back. Okay? Again, looking turning this around make sure these two holes are on the bottom half okay and we are working in the back on the top and now I'm going to just chain one and just pull that through just like that so now we are attached okay and now this is for the top part of the hat we are going to single crochet 54 stitches evenly around this uh, whole side here okay so basically wherever your hook fits is where you should single crochet so go into the side of the hat yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops just like that okay so go into wherever your hook fits I'm hoping to just get it through um, each row because there's 54 rows on my hat or on my brim there so I'm just gonna go through each row and hope that I get 54 stitches now if I don't I'll have to go back and just make it even around but since we're using the same color to as our brim nobody's gonna really even see that at all and it's um, so even if it's a little messy if uh, <laughs> it's not perfect you're not gonna see it especially when we fold the brim up 
it's not you're not going to see that um, the first row there so I'm just going to single crochet along this side and make sure that I have 54 stitches around and then I'll come back we are going to be working in continuous rounds so I'm gonna grab a stitch marker and I will come back and I'll show you round two of the top of the hat all right, so I single crocheted around and I do have to mention that I actually ended up with 60 stitches evenly around. So you want to basically, um, however long, long you made your brim, you want this round now, round one of your top part of your hat to be in a multiple of six, okay? So a multiple of six. So either 54 stitches, which 50, uh, 54 divided by 6 is uh, 9, right? <laughs> and um, I have 60, so that would be um, 10. Okay, 10 times 6 is 60. So uh, you can have, or you can have uh, 48 stitches or... Uh, 42 stitches or you know or go up if you're bigger it can be 66 stitches around so just a multiple of six okay because when we decrease it will be in the multiples of six I hope that makes sense and uh, we will go on to round two now I am going to be working in continuous rounds so I grabbed a piece of yarn for a stitch marker you can grab a, a, a legit stitch marker if you have an actual stitch marker but I'm just going to use this uh, piece of yarn to mark my rounds and you can see my seam is right here so it really isn't that difficult to mark my rounds because I can see the back of my work right here but uh, just for uh, easy purposes here I'm just gonna stick my stitch marker in there and this time we're working through both loops of our stitches okay so here's our first stitch right here now again I have 60 stitches around so for rows 2 through 15 okay so rounds 2 through 15 we are just going to single crochet into each stitch around okay so you can see that I did not slip stitch to that first stitch I actually made a single crochet into there okay so I'm just going to single crochet into each of these stitches now all the way around for this is round two right now but I'm gonna do that for rounds two through 15 and when I finish round 15 we are going to start decreasing the top of the hat and I will show you that when I get to round 16 all right so I just finished round 15 here so you can see each round I marked um, but you can see this is how what your work should look like right now um, each of these rounds should have 60 stitches around now if you have 54 stitches because that's what I said earlier <laughs> Uh, then just do one more round of single crochets in place of round 16 okay so I'm gonna go on round 16 and do a decrease so I want you um, to follow along if you have 60 stitches like me we're gonna do a decrease here so let's move our stitch marker up and for round 16 we are going to single crochet two together so go into this very first stitch here Okay, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. First stitch there, yarn over and pull through, go directly into the next stitch right here, and then yarn over and pull that through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is a decreased single crochet or a single crochet two together stitch. And now we're going to single crochet into the next eight stitches around. So just put a regular single crochet in the next eight stitches. So that was one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and then single crochet into the next eight stitches and just do that again all the way around um, until you come back to the beginning here and um, you should have 54 stitches then <laughs> at the end of this round so let me count here here's one two, one, two three four five six okay so I'll do two more here seven and eight there we go and then repeat so single crochet two together 
and then single crochet in the next eight stitches. So I'll do that and then once I have my 54 stitches we can go on to round 17. Alright, so I have 54 stitches for this round, so round 17 now, we're going to move our stitch marker up, and we are going to decrease again. This decrease is a little different, we are going to single crochet two together, so go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook, so there's our single crochet two together stitch, and then it says to single crochet into the next four stitches. So here's one, next stitch two, three, and four. Okay, and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So single crochet two together, and then single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then repeat. So do that all the way around, and at the end of round 17, you'll have 45 stitches. So it's a bigger decrease here. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back. We'll go on to round 18. All right, you can start to kind of see that it's kind of going inward. We are closing the top. I have 45 stitches around for round 17. Going on to round 18, we are going to move our stitch marker up single crochet two together, so go into this first stitch here, yarn over, pull through, go into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches this time. So one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, and repeat that sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together, and then single crochet into the next three stitches and just continue that repeat all the way around. At the end of round 18, you'll have 36 stitches around, so I'll do that, and then we'll go on to round 19 next. All right, just finished um, round um, 18, or, <clears throat> yeah, round 18, sorry. <laughs> okay, moving on to round 19. <laughs> We're moving our stitch marker up. Um, right now I have 36 stitches around, so you can see that's really closing in at the top here. So we are going to decrease on round 19 here. Let's single crochet two together. Here we go. Single crochet two together, there, just like that. And then single crochet into the next two stitches. So one, and the next one, one. Okay, and just repeat that sequence all the way around. Very simple. Single crochet two together, and then single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then repeat. Single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next two stitches. At the end of round 19, you will have 27 single crochets. I'll do that, and then we'll go on to round 20 next. Alright, I have 27 stitches on top here. You can see the hole is closing big time. So going on to round 20 now, I'm going to move my stitch marker up and we are going to single crochet two together. And then we're just going to single crochet in the next stitch. Just one. Okay, and then single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next stitch and just alternate these stitches all the way around. At the end of round 20 you will have 18 stitches around. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll go on to our last round. Alright, here's what your work should look like. We're going on to our last round, round 21. We are moving our stitch marker up and we are going to single crochet two together and we're going to do that nine times. Okay, so single crochet these two together. Oops, my yarn got stuck. There we go. Single crochet these next two together. Okay, single crochet these next two together. It's going to get super closed and tight here. There we go, go into the next two stitches, make those two together, and just keep doing that all the way around until your top has only nine stitches around, and then after this round we'll be able to fasten off, but oh, you can just keep watching because I'm almost finished here, 
and then we'll be able to uh, make the ear flaps and we have to actually make um, the bows and attach the palm on top here so I'm on my last stitch it's closing really tight okay so to fasten this off you can still see there is a hole on top we're gonna close that and the palm is gonna cover it so what we're gonna do is go into this next stitch or our first stitch here yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook to slip stitch then we're going to chain one and we're going to cut our yarn uh, semi long we're going to sew this closed okay so pull it through that chain one and pull tight you can remove your stitch marker at this point we don't need it any longer and we are going to sew this closed so we're going to take this long strand that we just cut okay we're going to go at the top here and we're just going to go in and out the last round of stitches. Okay, just like this. In and out. And in and out. And you can do that um, a couple of times there. And then just cinch it closed. And then go to the inside. Okay, you can flip this inside out. Okay, and then go around a couple of stitches here. Keep your finger in the loop, come back through the loop, pull out, pull that, and then just sew this end in. Just around these stitches on the inside. Okay, and then you can just cut any extra you may have. And there's the top of your hat. Lovely! Awesome. Now you can see the hat part here. We're gonna flip this up and we are close to finishing. We just have to make ear flaps and add the bow and add the top palm. So I'm going to grab some more of this gray yarn and we'll make the ear flap next. Alright, for the ear flaps we are going to start off with a slip knot. So I showed you how to make that earlier in this tutorial. And we are going to chain five. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two right in there. And what, again, like I like to do is work in those back ridges. Okay, you can work in any loop of the chain. So single crochet across. One, next chain, two, next chain, three, and last chain four. So you should have four single crochets for row one. Let's chain one and turn our work around. And for row two, we are going to put two single crochets in the very first stitch. So right in here, can you see that? That first stitch right there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's the very first stitch there. We're going to put two single crochets in that stitch. So there's one go back in, there's two. And then we're going to single crochet in each of these next two stitches here, one and one, and then the last stitch is also going to get two single crochets. So at the end of row two you should have um, six single crochets, one and two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one and turn your work around and we are going to just single crochet in each of these six stitches across. So just put one single crochet in each stitch across for row three. And you should have six stitches. Going on to row four, we're going to chain one, turn our work around, and now uh, we are going to repeat um, row two. Actually, we're going to re repeat rows two and three for, let's see here, rows four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so you want to put two single crochets in the first stitch, 
and then one single crochet in each of the stitches until you hit one more stitch in the end so there's one stitch remaining okay so one stitch remaining put two in there one and two and that was row four so you should have eight stitches now so going on to row five chain one turn your work around and just repeat row three where you just single crochet across and you should have eight stitches on row five here then row six is a repeat of row two and then you should have ten stitches then row seven we are repeating um, the single crochet row, just single crochet across for 10 stitches. Then row 8 is going to be an increase to 12 stitches. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just uh, follow along with the <laughs> written pattern. But um, every, other st every other row is just an increase. Putting two single crochets in the first stitch and two single crochets in the last stitch. And that's every other row. Okay, until you have 12 stitches across. There. Once you have 12 stitches across, I'll come back and we'll go on to the next row. Alright, I just finished row 8 here, as you can see. 2, 4, 6, 8. I have 12 stitches across at this point. I put 2 in the first stitch and 2 in the last stitch for row 8. And I have 12 stitches now. So that is where you should be at this point so now row, uh, rows 9 through 16 we're done increasing we're just going to chain one turn our work around and just single crochet across in each stitch for uh, 12 stitches for each row and that's rows 9 through 16 so once I finish row 16 I'll come back don't fasten off at that point we're going to um, continue to single crochet around this whole piece so I'll show you how to do that once I finish row 16 alright once you finish row 16 this is what your piece should look like okay so what we're going to do now is crochet, single crochet around this edge of the piece and we're going to actually end right here. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to chain one. You don't have to chain one but I'm going to. And then we're just going to single crochet so you can see I'm turning the piece this way and we're just going to single crochet down this side. So I'm just going to go in wherever my hook fits is basically where I'm going to single crochet. Okay, so you can see I'm working down the side. And we're just going to work down this side, around the bottom, and up the other side. And that's it. Okay, so once I get to the other side, up in that top corner, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, once you come back to the top on this side, we're going to slip stitch to this first stitch on row 16 there. Okay, so yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, and then we're just going to chain one. I'm going to cut my yarn long to sew, to use for sewing, and then we're going to pull it through that chain one and pull tight. Okay, so there's your ear flap. So now all you have to do is just rewind this and make one more ear flap exactly the same way, and then once you have both ear flaps, we'll sew this onto the hat. Alright, as you can see here, I have one ear flap already sewn onto my hat, okay, on the inside, and I already have a braid tassel uh, attached too. So I'm going to show you one, and then you just have to do the other one exactly the same. So you can see here is the front of our hat, because these are the two holes that our bow is going to fit into, which we'll make next. I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is lay this flat, so I'll kind of fold it in half from the front, and so you're looking at the side where the ears will be and we're gonna take our ear flap and make sure the right side is out and the way you can see your right side is that you can see these stitches here like this because when you flip this over you can't see those little V's those little sideways V's so again you can see these V's here V V V etc but then when you flip this around, you don't see those. This is the back side, and this is the front side, okay? So we want to see our front side, and we're going to stick it inside of the hat, okay, up to this line 
where our brim meets our hat, uh, the top part of the hat. So on the inside, you can kind of flip it inside out and do it the complete opposite side of your other ear flap. So if you're doing one, the first ear flap, just put it in place and sew it on, and then your other ear flap will be the opposite side of it, just like this. Okay, so line it up. Probably go a little bit like that. Okay, and then you can kind of fold this outside like this. Okay, yarn your needle with the extra yarn we um, cut with the end of this uh, piece here and just go in to the hat and out. So we're working on the inside of the hat, okay, and pull out and then just go into a stitch on the ear flap. Okay, then go into a stitch on the ear flap and then go into the very next stitch on the hat, okay, and just keep it on this line straight across. So you can see the brim is here, here's my ribbing, and we're doing the first row on the top part of the hat. We're sewing it to that part there. Okay, just like that, going in and out. Very simple. So, I just want to show you how I'm doing it, but you can sew this however you want to, to this row. And then, once we have this attached, we're going to add a braid and a tassel. Alright, so I just sewed that all the ways here. So at the end here, we're just going to go around a couple of the stitches. Keep our finger in that loop and then come back through that loop and then pull your finger out and pull tight and then we just sew in this end underneath the stitches just like that and then cut any extra and there's your ear flap so just sew both of them on just like this and if you don't want tassels, you don't have to. You just have the ear flaps and just have them hang. Um, but I, w I like the braided tassel here. So what we need to do is grab six strands of yarn that are quite long. Okay. Mine are about 36 inches. Okay. And what we're going to do is take that and go at the bottom of our ear flap with our hook and hook on all six strands and pull it through. Okay, and then make sure that they are even at the bottom. Okay, they're long. Make sure they're even. And then we're going to take four strands into three different sections. So four strands here. Let me move all this out of the way here. Four strands here. And four strands here and then we're just going to braid them so if you are unsure how to braid there are tutorials online for to show you how to braid a three strand braid otherwise uh, yeah just braid down however long you want these braids to be for your tassels and then um, once I have mine as long as I need it to be I'll come back and show you what to do next all right, so I just braided this. Um, now, I want to tie this knot, but I do want to mention that when you're making your braids and you have your second one done, make sure that your second braid is just as long as this first braid so that there's not an uneven braiding <laughs> going on. So I ended up braiding mine a little long, and I had to take it apart a little bit. So to make them even, just line them up. Take out the braid if you braided too long, and then we're just going to wrap around our two fingers here, crisscross like this, and then slide our fingers out of that loop and pull this through that loop. Kind of like a slip knot. That would be a slip knot, but you pull all the way, and there is a knot. And then you, what you want to do is line the two braids up and make sure that your knots line up. Okay. 
just like that and make, <clears throat> make them tighter and they're even very close <laughs> very close so now we want we don't want these long strands here so we're going to cut them um, just measure however long you want the tassels to be so about right there and then just make your cut with your scissors just be very careful with your scissors not to cut or stab yourself <laughs> so there is the ear flaps with the tassels so now we just have to grab um, some yarn to make the bows so I'm going to pick this teal color with the um, with love metallic yarn and we'll get started on making the bows all right so I have my metallic yarn and we are going to make a slip knot and to start off we are going to chain 48 okay so I'm not gonna make you watch me chain 48 so just yarn over and pull through there's one two three and so on so just chain 48 and I'll come back and show you what to do for round one all right I just chained 48 so this is what your work is just one long chain about this long here so what we're going to do without twisting this chain we are going to come to the beginning here I'm going to straighten this out and what I'm going to do is flip this up and over to my hook and we are going to go into that first chain and make a single crochet so I'm going to work in the back ridges like I like to do and we are going to single crochet into that first chain so yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops and we're going to single crochet in 20 chains actually so there was our first one going to our second one here just single crochet okay next one over here there's this third here's our fourth one so I'm not gonna make you watch me single crochet in these first 20 uh, chains because it's gonna take a, a while um, the first row is always the longest and hardest <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna single crochet in the first 20 chains here and then I'll show you what to do next all right so I just single crocheted in the first 20 chains here so now what we're going to do in the next four chains we are going to slip stitch into each one of those so this is the center of our bow here so we're gonna go into this next chain yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook but do not pull tight and then pull up a little bit of strand there on your hook go into the next chain here yarn over pull through and through again do not pull tight okay next chain go in yarn over pull through and through and this next one is our fourth one yarn over pull through and through okay so we did four slip stitches and now we're going to single crochet into the next 20 chains Okay, just like the other side of the bow and there should be four chains left at the end of this row and I'll come back and show you what to do there and we can go on to round two all right I have four chains left here so I'm going to slip stitch into the last four chains okay just like how we did in the middle of the bow way back there so I'm just going to slip stitch into these last four chains and then for round two uh, rounds two through eight are exactly the same what we're going to do we're working in continuous rounds so if you need to you can put a stitch marker here but I'm just going to use this um, straggler piece as a marker that this is the beginning of my round and we're ending with four slip stitches so you should know that that's the end of your round to go on to the next round and for round two two through eight we are working in those back loops only just like we did on the ribbing part of the brim of the hat we are going to work in the back loops only and we're working in continuous rounds on this piece and we're going to single crochet into the first 20 stitches just like this in the back loops only and then we're going to slip stitch into those four slip stitches 
and then we're going to single crochet into those next 20 stitches and then we're going to slip stitch into the last uh, four slip stitches okay so basically just do what we've been doing for the previous round but now we're actually working in stitches which is much easier than working into a chain <laughs> so um, just single crochet into the single crochets and slip stitch into the slip stitches and do that for eight rounds total okay once I'm finished uh, with my eight rounds I'll come back and I'll show you how to fasten off but I also want to show you this one part here so I'm single crocheting single crocheting and now I'm at the slip stitch part here whoopsie I slip the single crochet in the first one so you can see here's four one two three four slip stitches so we're going to go into that back loop yarn over pull through and through next stitch back loop yarn over pull through and through next stitch pull through and through and the fourth one slip stitch so there's four slip stitches and then just count single crochet into the next 20 and then slip stitch into the last four stitches on this row so just do that um, for eight rows and once I'm done with this bow I'll come back and show you what to do next all right, I just finished row eight. Here is what it should look like. So you can see they ended with the four slip stitches, which um, cinched this in a little bit. And you can see the eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And working in the back loop only creates this like ribbing effect, which is really nice. So we're gonna fasten this off. I already have my yarn cut here, but I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch here. You can see I'm going under both loops. It doesn't matter if you go under one or two, just yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain one and cut your yarn and pull it all the way through that chain one and pull tight, okay? And then we can just sew in all of our ends so you'll have a beginning and an end. Um, yeah, little strand there to sew in. So just yarn your needle and just go underneath these stitches just like that and you can make as many different bows as you want for the interchangeable bow on this hat um, so you can make as many bows and have them for every single outfit that you own which is really nice so there's the bow that's the back side this is the front side or it doesn't really matter because it's going to be behind that middle section of your hat which I'm bringing that in now you can see I've added a palm which I got on Amazon these fuzzy palms I will put a link in the description of this video for you to get these super furry palms on amazon.com uh, but you can see here like how the heck is that gonna fit in there well you just have to kind of roll this side like this go through the front to the back and then out this side and it stretches the hole a little bit there we go and then just shape it into a bow how fabulous is that look at how cute oh my goodness so you can make as many different bows as you want and there is your Botastic hat with some fabulous ear flaps. You know, a lot of these pieces are optional. You can, um, you know, have obviously different colored bows. You can have a different palm. You can make a palm or have different colored palms. And you can add or subtract the uh, ear flaps or the braided tassels. So there's so many different things you can do with this hat and make it your own. But I just wanted to show you all the things you can do with this. And, you know, if you're, if you're worried about the brim even like coming down or unfolding you can sew a little tack of um, yarn just sew it on this side and on this side and then it, you won't have to worry about the brim even flopping down at all ever so that's um, a little tip and trick that you can work with but I have this bow and then I made a hot pink bow too so I'm gonna pull this one out and then interchange it just roll this up go into the side stretch that out 
and then pull it through the other side. And then go into the center. Ooh, the pink bow is super fabulous. Wowzers. Look at that. How pretty. And there's another different hat. It's like two different hats we just made. <laughs> you can make so many different colored bows and it's going to be a new hat every time. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for the Bowtastic hat. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think about this and also subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Follow my other socials. All of the links are in the description of this video as well as that free crochet pattern that is written on my website yarnutopia.com. That's linked in the description of this video as well. Thank you so much for sticking out with me through this whole tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, happy hooking!